Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Upgrade or Trash IT. In this video I'll be using the HP 630 laptop and I'm going to be walking you through how to install Windows 10 on it. So let's turn it on and then get to the boot menu. Here we go and we'll point it at the flash disk where my Windows 10 files are and let's see how we do. Now this is a very old laptop. It was released sometime in September, well sometime in the year 2011. It's got a first generation i3 processor in it and that is a mobile, that's the mobile processor, that's not even the desktop processor. So this is a very very early processor. It actually was launched onto the market with four gigabytes of RAM and 250 gigabyte of a hard disk drive. Okay, let me just do this. And it's got a very large screen, 15.6 inches across 1366 by 768 pencil, uh, pixels. I don't have the activation. I'm going to do Windows 10. And it originally came, this laptop originally came with Windows 7 64 bit. I'm going to do an advanced install. So let's get rid of these partitions and off we go. Now what I've done is I've upgraded the RAM from 4 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes and I've taken out the hard disk drive and put a solid state drive in. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little Okay, so there we go. In about 17 minutes, we've managed to set up Windows 10 or install Windows 10 on this machine. Now to see how successful it's been, I just want to check a few things. The first thing I want to check is, has this copy of Windows 10 um, been activated? Let's just see what the screen said. Yep, yeah, Windows 10 Home is activated. Perfect. The next thing is, will it enable us to receive any updates? Check for updates. So let's leave that running. You can see here how nice and responsive it is. When I click something with the mouse, a window is appearing immediately, which is all really encouraging. We can also see, in terms of the compatibility, all of the different 
devices that, which are part of the laptop, for instance, the screen, the resolution is nice and sharp, it's crisp, so that's great. We know the Wi-Fi is working, that's another bonus. We know that the sound is working as well, because we can just look at the icons down here. I don't think there's any Bluetooth for a machine of this age. So let's just check the updates. Okay, it's still checking for those. So I'm just going to check the how much RAM this computer believes that it's got installed. Okay, so it says it's only got four gigabytes of RAM, which is really strange because I've actually installed eight. So I need to see, I need to see if that's an error. Okay, so the final thing to do with this Windows 10 installation is to shut it down and to time how long it takes to start up and to sign in and to let us start working. Okay, so it's shut down. I've got my stopwatch on. The system is still only reading four gigabytes of RAM with its SSD drive in. Okay, excellent. That is about 35 seconds startup time, which is actually very impressive. 